Garrett was just in there and he talked about execution on a bunch of pitches and how it wasn't where he thought he needed it to be tonight. Just what were you seeing from your vantage point? I saw a little bit of that. Um, sometimes the execution wasn't wasn't uh, exactly there in the first couple innings, but after that, he really he ran it in, and you know he he gave us a chance to win, and we ended up coming back, but just couldn't couldn't finish it. He had talked about part of the game plan being trying to establish that fastball, especially very early on. Do you second guess that game plan uh, when you see the results and you know that going into it, that team is a team that that likes to hunt fastballs a little bit? Well, in the first thing, they definitely came out swinging aggressively at the heater, and um, you know that. At, and the uh, sorry, the. Um, I think the the first two innings definitely kind of set the tone, and and after that we reined it in. But um, you know, by then the the main damage was pretty much done. Other other questions for Kyle. Bob Clappish, please unmute. Kyle uh, Garrett has set the bar so high. Uh, the last couple of years um, and really the, the sense is fair or not that you know when he's on his game he can pretty much dominate any team any lineup throw that fastball by anyone the double digit strikeout so when he doesn't get there uh, it, it stands out it's it's rather unique do you sense any any drop off in his stuff this late in the year given how few innings he threw last year I mean it's a it's a unique situation to go from uh, from 90 innings last year to double that this year so I'm wondering if you sense that there's been any effect because of that um i mean i haven't i haven't seen anything to be honest i think today i mean the the stuff was there we we're just you know a little scattered early and then um then we got into a rhythm but um you know i haven't seen any of that i can't speak to how he's you know how he's feeling but um you know i think his stuff looks good okay great thank you randy miller you have the next question Cal, what is this wild card race? Uh, what do you make of it? Four teams separated by two games with four days to go in the season. Is it nerve wracking? Is it fun? Uh, what's your take on how this is? You find yourself looking at the scoreboard a lot more. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's fun for the fans. Um, you know, we just know we have to keep winning. That's the only thing because uh, we we're in control of our destiny right now. So it's up to us to keep winning and and. You know, it's a, at least we know we're in that, you know, good position. How important is it to play that game next week at home in your mind? You know, it, it, it's, it's really important. Um, I think, you know, Yankee, Yankee fans during the playoffs are, it's, it's some of the craziest atmosphere I've ever seen. So, um, you know, I think that's, that's, that's going to be big for us if we can pull it off. Thanks. Ryan Hoke, you have the next question. Hey, Kyle, what did that mean to you that Boone stuck with you in that opportunity in the seventh inning there? They they had Gary on the bench, but he gave you a chance to hit there. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I I wasn't really thinking about anything like that um, until until he either pinches for me or whatever. I don't I don't doesn't really cross my mind. So because it it really can't, you know. You got to always stay focused on the situation and the job you have to do. So, um, you know, I, I always believe I can get the job done. So, you know, the fact that I was able to go up there and get a hit that, you know, that's, I feel like I did my job in that situation.